So here we go. Um, I want to show you now how to convert your clips for a good editable format. This is something you must do when you work with clips from the 5D MK2, the 7D, the T2i, etc. etc. And that's because when the camera saves the clips on the camera, it converts the clips to good format to be shown on television or the computer screen, but it's not good at editing. And you will see that if you try to edit one of these clips and it will be stuttering and choppy and look really, really bad. It's almost like the file is broken. So what we have to do is um, convert these files to a format that is more easy to edit. So I'm using here a program called MPEG Stream Clip from squared5.com. It's free to download and it's really really good. Um, I'm not sure what program to use if you're a PC user because I'm not, I'm a Mac user. But if you have comments about that, please leave them below and I'll see what I can do. And um, if you other guys have any ideas about what programs you use, please also post them below and I'll do an update on this video. Okay, here we go. We start the program, it looks like this. So what I do is I go to the list menu option up here. I press batch list. This window will let me add files to the batch. Um, and the batch is the group of files that I want to convert. So I press this button here, add files. I go to the folder where I have my movies that I want to convert. And these clips comes from the iPhone. I do this with all my clips. Um, so this is something I would do with the 550D files but also with the iPhone 4 files. So I choose these files and press uh, click here to batch. I want to export these to QuickTime. I could export it to AVI, MPEG4, DV or whatever file uh, file format I want to export it to or convert it to. So I press OK. I choose the destination folder where I want, it, want the files to be saved. And then I come to this option window. Here I can choose what sort of compression uh, protocol I want to use. If I want to use Apple XDCam, Apple HDV, Apple DVC Pro, etc., etc., H.264, what I use is Apple ProRes 422 or Apple ProRes 422 LT. So right now I'm going to use Apple ProRes 422. Uh, I turn this one up to 100. When you start the program the first time, it's usually down here at 50. So I put it up there. I check the, the frame size here. And also, when you usually import uh, movie clips from the Canon, this uh, box uh, is like that. So I uncheck it. I make sure that it's not interlaced scaling and then I press to batch. I don't care about the rest of the stuff here. To batch. Here we have four files. I, I forgot a few files so I just press add files again and I add these two here and to batch. Quick time into the converted destination folder and I want it to be Apple ProRes 422 the quality I want 100% I want the interlaced scaling to be unchecked I want the format to be unscaled and I press 2 batch here we have 6 files and I press go and wait for it to finish um, okay on to the next segment. If you have any questions, please post them below.